Hey guys, what's up? Galaxy S3 Motor here. And in this video, we're going to be unboxing the LG G Watch a little bit. And then we're going to overview some of the features and some of the cool things that the LG G Watch can do. Let's see if we can hit up to 25 likes in this video. Thanks guys, let's dive into it. Alright guys, so now let's take a look at the box. On the front, we just got a picture of the G-Watch and the title. So flip it to the side, we've just got the model number. Made in Korea, it tells you what color your watch is. The side, it just says, powered by Android Wear. LG, Android Wear. If we take a look at the back here, it tells you some of the things that the watch has. Water and dust resistance, always on screen. Nine axis motion sensors. A 400 milliamp hour battery. And OK Google. So that's about it on the bottom here just says you know, what Android version it has. So now let's jump into the watch here. Here you go. The watch. And here, let's take it out. I've put it back in here and this wasn't the way it came. I mean that is the way it came with the watch facing like that, but it's not packaged the exact same way. I do have everything though, and I will be able to display it for you. Alright, I'll just put the watch itself inside here. Let's take this out. Here is the crate, the charging cradle for the watch. We've got a manual, quick start guide in English and what I believe is Spanish. Yes, Spanish. Then we've got just, I saved the little wrappings from the cord itself, and the cord, the charge cord, is here, I have it behind me, just as your standard micro USB, USB connection. How this works, if you're wondering, because it's a charging cradle, and if you're like me, I was new to charging cradles, you have these little uh, pins here, and you just put them like so, and it's magnetic too, so it'll like stick to the watch, let's see if we can get it, see, here it snap, let's do that one more time, there you go, it, it holds on to it pretty well, and what you, get, what you do is you plug in the mini USB to the side of the cradle here, and then just plug this port into the one it comes with, this Right here, it comes with its own power, and you plug it in, and that's how you charge the watch. That is also how you connect it to the computer. You just plug this into any USB port in your computer, and you can send files to it, push applications, and all that good stuff. Alright, so now I'll move all this stuff out of the way. Here. And let's get into the watch itself. Now I know what you're thinking. Why am I reviewing such an old watch? Why aren't I reviewing some of the newer watches that are out? Like the Moto 360, all the all the nice cool watches. Why are you reviewing this one? Well, because this is what I could afford. <laughs> I can afford this one. I got this watch for $80 off eBay. It was a really good deal considering that it retails I believe for $270, $280, very close to around there. I still think that this is the best way to go if you're new to smartwatches. If you're not planning on buying or don't just don't have the money to buy one of the nice smartwatches, like the stainless steel ones and especially the Apple Watch with the ridiculous prices that that comes with for the certain models. I know all not all models are that expensive. But this is a really good alternative smartwatch. And it does come with the latest 5.1. If you manual, it does not come with it, but it's available to you through side loading with ADB commands, which is what I did because I could not wait in order to have this latest update. In the newest update, which is what you'll be seeing here, you have a new notification shade. And you can swipe. It looks different than it did before. If you bought one now and you didn't update it yet, it will look different. Just this part right here. You have a few different ways that you can interact with the watch. You can use voice, 
you can uh, touch it by itself and then navigate specifically to that app that you need to. And that's that's pretty much it. There's no other ways to interact with it. This watch does not have a speaker. It does not have Wi-Fi connectivity like the G Watch Urbane. It's I don't think that the that's needed for me personally. I don't need Wi-Fi and I don't need a speaker. The speaker I'd like, if anything, I'd prefer the speaker over Wi-Fi so I could play the music. Let me here take my phone. Phone. Let me get my phone. I'll be back in a second. I learned that once you hit play on phone, it takes you to the app once your screen is on. And since I'm recording with my G3 that it's connected to, it opened and cut the video off. So I apologize for that, but it'll be okay. You guys will be okay. One thing that you should also know is if you have multiple Android devices, say I have my S3 and my G3 and I switch from them, like if my battery's low on my G3, I let it charge and then use my S3, just swap, just swap the SIM card out, and your watch cannot connect to more than one device without having to be reset, which is kind of annoying. It's not hard to do. It'll take probably 10 minutes maximum to switch from one to another. And another thing that you would like to know about this watch is it has no buttons. There is no buttons on this watch, like volume buttons or anything. It is just the screen and this little button, this little one right in the back there. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Focus. Let's see what we can do here. Mm. Anyway, it's right there. You can probably you can see it a little bit. Doesn't want to focus. Maybe if I zoom out a little. There you go. Yeah, you can see that little button there. That is your power button. If some if your watch freezes or you need to turn it on, if you turn it off, you have to hit that button and hold it in order for it to come back on. You can't like touch the screen or anything to turn it back on. It just won't work. You have to hit that little button, which can get annoying. I have a hard time finding something to fit with that little button. Half the time I end up using like a paper clip or a pencil or something. And that's annoying to have to do that. So that's good. The band. I know the watch band is important to some people. To a lot of people it is. Because it is a watch, you know, you are wearing it, so you want it to look nice. I personally like the way that this watch is. I like the feel of the band. The band feels nice. It doesn't upset my skin like sometimes people have reactions to certain materials this is good this is good material it's very strong very durable uh you can replace the bands there is a way like if you slide this down there's a little prong that you can do and you can take it off and you can buy replacement bands if you want i've seen black stainless steel bands off amazon for i believe it was ten dollars you can get them for very cheap if you want a replacement band if you prefer to look at the stainless steel which I plan on doing in the future and I will put a review up on them if I do purchase them but who knows at this point I don't plan on doing it to see what it looks like on the wrist I'll put it on for you very quickly I have a pretty small wrist let's be honest I'm not gonna lie to you guys small wrist so it fits I'm on like the fourth little notch there it looks pretty nice I like I like it. When you have the watch on your side, there's two modes to the watch. There's ambient mode, and there's the when you're interacting with the watch. What you see now with the color, let's go to a different watch face that you could see easy, easier. Hmm. I installed some custom ones. A lot of these come with the watch, but a lot of these are free as well. I go to the Play Store. There's a lot of developers that are making things for this watch which is good or for Android Wear by itself you know let's see this one's a good one to use alright so each minute it waves alright the color if you cover the watch it'll go into let's see let do it again there you go see it turns off like that but when you're looking at it which you could set it still sense that I was looking at it it turned back on that the gray that you see there is ambient mode and then it keeps turning back on because it knows that I'm looking at it. Theater mode. That is good too if it's on, like if you're saying going to a movie theater and you don't want any interruptions or anything. The last thing that I want to talk about for the G-Watch is the games that you can play on it. Let me turn theater mode off real quick. 
There are a few games that you can play on the watch that I found, such as my favorite is Tetrocrate. I love Tetrocrate. It's good for the little games. Some of the games it's hard to uh, run. Like some games lag. I play one called Cyclopong. Well, I mean, it's hard to work with a device that has the specs such as these. You know, I get, I applaud developers for trying. But it is a hard, it is a slow watch in general. It's not built for games. But it can play little games like this one. This one runs very well. I love this game. I play this during all of my classes in high school. Because it's a good time waster. Let's see here. I should not. <laughs> if I keep playing, I'm going to play throughout the rest of the video, and that'll be bad. But it's a fun game. The goal of this is like Tetris. You want to get all of the blocks to either form like all this way, this way, and then it'll disappear. Let me see if I can get one for you real quick. Game over. I suck. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that concludes this video. I st if there's any questions on the... LGG watch that I will be able to answer for you. Just please leave them down in the description below. Let's see if we can reach 25 likes on this video. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate that so much. I know I haven't put out a video in a long time. And this is me trying to get back on track. So, once again, this has been Galaxy S3 Modern. And have a great day. You can simply turn that on and you won't get any interruptions and everything will be good in that regard. The last thing that I want to talk about for the G-Watch is the games that you can play on it. Let me turn theater mode off real quick. There are a few games that you can play on the watch that I've found, such as my favorite is Tetrocrate. I love Tetrocrate. It's good for the little games. Some of the games it's hard to uh, run. Like some games lag. I play one called Cyclopong. Well, I mean, it's hard to work with a device that has the specs such as these. You know, I get, I applaud developers for trying, but it is a hard, it is a slow watch in general. It's not built for games, but it can play little games like this one. This one runs very well. I love this game. I play this during all of my classes in high school because it's a good time waster. Let's see here. I should not. <laughs> if I keep playing, I'm going to play throughout the rest of the video, and that'll be bad. But it's a fun game. The goal of this is like Tetris. You want to get all of the blocks to either form like all this way, this way, and then it'll disappear. Let me see if I can get one for you real quick. Game over. I suck. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that concludes this video. I st if there's any questions on the... LGG watch that I will be able to answer for you. Just please leave them down in the description below. Let's see if we can reach 25 likes on this video. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate that so much. I know I haven't put out a video in a long time. And this is me trying to get back on track. So, once again, this has been Galaxy S3 Modern. And have a great day.